My first question is this. What can we do to help you with your campaign, first of all? I know y'all are both activists, and I am too in my own way, right? I'm very mm-hmm. much... Right. I'm very much a in a lot of ways, but I know how to turn it off and turn it on. You know, I I know how to I know how to be in certain spaces. You know, you right, gotta right. be able to turn it off and turn it on. Right. So right. like we literally y'all, uh, like this is this is how you this is the only way you're gonna change the the dynamics in South Carolina. You gotta find some folks that are a little bit polished, maybe are not you know, nobody really knows them that well. Maybe they haven't really been politically mm-hmm. active. But we need some secret sleepers. Like, you need we need them to run as the other side, even though they're for our side. And we need right, them to win. Right. Because mm-hmm. that's how, like, I mean, we can, we can battle them in public all day. As long as we know we're working for the same goal. You know, I, I tell my right. colleagues up here all the time, I'm going to be that bitch every day of the week. Got too many people that that ain't us, ain't out for us, and look okay. like us. I mean, but honestly, these ain't the same type of black people that I grew up around. I don't right. recognize these right, black people, right. so I black because I don't understand the type of black that they are. Now, can I talk intelligently? Can I? I could be listen. I can move in all kind of circles, but I'm a nigga. At heart. I love black people. I feel safest around my people. So for me. Right. I feel like, y'all, we need sleepers, but we need a group of sleepers. We need some folks that ain't, right. that, we need some folks that can wear all black at night and take their mm-hmm. yard signs down when they, when they sleeping. The same shit they do to us, just the other way. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? We ain't got to make mm-hmm. a bunch of noise about it. We ain't got to, we ain't got to go mm-hmm. live about it. Just don't say shit. Just like when somebody drop money and you pick it up. You pick that shit up and keep walking. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And then when you get in there, when we get enough of us in there, we can wreak havoc and have it for real from the inside out. Then we can flip some yeah. from the inside out. We got to take back some of these seats, especially in these local elections. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we need we need people to run as Republicans in these local elections. Um, and we need, I mean, they family and They can't tell their family, you know, period. Because I can't trust right. family. Family, the first one turn on you. You can't mm-hmm. tell them. So, yeah. you know, like, man, I didn't think he would ever be a Republican. You know, they're going to have to be able to, listen, mm-hmm. when I say they're going to have to be able to take some mm-hmm. sh- I'm talking about at the dinner table, at Thanksgiving, when they mm-hmm. on the Republican ticket and everybody at the table looking at them sideways like, I can't believe your ass running this on something. <laughs> they got to be able to take that <laughs> on their chin. Yep. And I still mm-hmm. got to struggle to raise money for my campaign. Where the fuck is my black people with money? I don't care about no dope money. Give me that dope boy money. Where the fuck is dope? Where the duffel bag boys? Get you, find you somebody from your family that don't even know you donating to my campaign and put that shit under their name.